What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Inspiring Charm, providing one inspiration at a time. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. For those of you who are coming back, thank you very much for your support. I do appreciate it. What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be cooking something really quick and simple for you, my children. Favorite. And what I have over here, I've grown turkey. They had asked for um, <clears throat> spaghetti and meat sauce. So I'm gonna make that for you. So what I have here, I have some cut ginger, garlic, onion, escalion, and red bell peppers. So let's move on. So I have seasoned my ground turkey ahead of time with some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, some all-purpose seasoning, some ginger powder, and that's it but if you want to see how I've done a detailed seasoning of my ground turkey or my ground meat you can check in the i card above to see that so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over to my pot so in my pot over here guys I have I have about three tablespoons of oil what is that? And what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to add my chopped up seasoning to that so this is how I do my meat sauce so I just sauteed this for a little and again you can use the um, what amount of spices you want or ground seasoning you do not have to use this quantity now what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and add my ground um, meat to that and I'm going to mix it thoroughly so that it doesn't stick or um, start clumping together in big balls. When you constantly mix your um, ground beef, you do not allow it to be clumped together. You get it as fine and smooth as possible. So nice that this is coming on, guys. Yes, this is how you want it to look. So guys, this has come to a nice, um, consistency or texture that I like so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna move on to the next step so that's how you want it to be fluffy and um, all uniform in size and texture now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in and add um, one teaspoon of black pepper I'll go in and add some fresh um, some basil no and parsley Now I'm going to go in with my sauce and I'm going to be using a, um, a jar of tomato and basil sauce. You can use ragu if you have it. You go in and you add your sauce to that, everything. You're going to mix it thoroughly and allow it to cook in that sauce. You mix this, mix in your sauce and allow it to cook in that sauce for about 15 minutes on medium temperature. Not too fast guys, you're just gonna allow it, cover it now and allow it to cook. So guys, while my meat sauce is over there cooking, I'm gonna go ahead I went ahead and put on some water. All I put in this was a, with some salt, and now I'm gonna cover that and let it come to a boil before I add my pasta to that. And while I'm at that, while I'm waiting on that, let me go ahead and change this stove burner. Liner, this really helps keep your stove clean. Just put them back in. 
we're good to go again. Yep. So guys, the the water for my pasta is almost ready. So I'm gonna go ahead. Yep, it is ready. So I'm gonna be using one handful of um, spaghetti. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break it in two. So it's easier for my son to wrap around the fork. Add it to the pot. Give it a quick stir. That to boil for about 12 minutes. Now let's check on our pasta uh, meat sauce. Good. So guys, you're gonna cook this until you see the oil start coming from that tomato and that meat. That's when you know it is ready. So this still needs to cook some more so I'm gonna cook it for a few more minutes until the pasta is ready so let's go in and look at our um, want it to look like um, look like it should look like this where you see the um, tomato paste and everything start forming that oil on top of it this is ready guys <clears throat> I'll just taste and see if they if they um, if it has enough salt I know it has enough season then yep perfect let me lower that flame pasta has about two more minutes to go so I'm gonna come back and put that in so guys I'm gonna strain off my um, pasta now. I'm not gonna allow it to overcook because I'm gonna add it to my meat sauce and it will finish cooking over there for another minute or two so my lovely people so this is my pasta all strained off. So now I'm gonna add it to my meat sauce. Yep. I'm gonna give this a quick stir to incorporate everything. Guys, your children will love this. Try it. And you can always add more pasta um, if you like. I like it to be meaty. So when you add it like this guys, the pasta gets all that sauce and everything onto it. So there you have my pasta and meat sauce. I'm gonna allow it to simmer in this sauce for a minute. And then I'm gonna serve my children up some food. So guys, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to that. Yes. you have it guys that's my dinner that's my children's dinner tonight guys i hope you give it a try remember to like share leave a comment down below tell your friend about my channel and see you in the next video thanks for watching bye